So please, make sure no one knows she's in here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes. 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 She needs to rest. And you girls should make sure she gets enough of it. No more banters in here. Disengage from bantering inside this room, no matter how tempted you girls may be. Do I make myself clear? We will look out to her because any of us could be in a position someday. But we don't pray for such. So sorry. Okay, I'll leave now. And the doctor will soon be here. Okay? Sorry, my dear. Can I speak to you alone? Alone? Um, excuse us, please. What is it? She stole his majesty's money. Because I saw her. That's why she did this to me. She stole the money. And where is the money? You mean she stole this from the king? Yes, she did. Okay. All right, just take care of yourself, okay? Princess, for her to beat her like this, whatever it is that she did, she doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Huh? Even a common criminal. Shh. Huh? Remember what her highness said that we should not shout. You know she needs to rest. Sorry. Sorry. So Jesus, please. Come. Sorry. All I do. How could you? How could you what? How could you do such a thing? Where is the money you stole from my car? Are you referring to the money you almost killed Chica for? That girl is just a maid. She's just a slave. So why should I care if she's alive or not? Oledo, when did you become this hard-hearted? Just shut up and give me that money. I am not cut out for your nonsense. You will never get the money because I have given it to the king and every other thing you stole from How me. How dare you? How dare you tell me that I stole from my father? Need I remind you that the king is my father? Hence, everything he owns belongs to me. 
And if you have given that money to my father, I am going to make this palace and this thing you are carrying so miserable for you to live in. All I do, you're not the first to make this statement to me. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, there is a saying, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I might look gullible physically, but do not take my soft spot for cowardice. I am not someone you can threaten. No, of course, how, I cannot threaten you. How can I threaten the, the incoming queen of our kingdom? Your majesty, threats are for kids. I am promising you, so don't you dare. Do not make promises you cannot keep. <clears throat> you have to be very careful with me. Be very careful in this palace because I've got my eyes on you. The eyes are useless when the mind is blind. <laughs> Hi, Becky. It's been, it's been ages, you know. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's not as if I stopped coming around completely. The thing is, um, you know, you started playing out as though I was stalking your friends. So. I didn't want all of that um, embarrassment and that. So I gave her the space she requested, no? But it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. So how are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. You're at my shop now? Okay, you know what? Um, Please give me give me 10 minutes. In fact, 15 minutes max, okay? I'll, I'll be there. I actually rushed out to drop a, a client's car and um, decided to stop by at my house so I can eat. Yes, I'll, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, um, Becky, I, I forgot. You moved on so soon. What happened? I mean, who is the lucky guy? It's okay. You're welcome. I mean, I am. I am happy for you. You know, love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it, it it brings out the best in us. You know, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Sammy! Sammy, please hurry up now. Hurry up. They've called me. Oh, Becky's at the shop. Please hurry up with the food. Oga. Okay. Mm? No. If you like, start rushing back to the shop. If you don't like, stay here and wait for food to be done. Sammy, where is the food? I'm hungry now. Oga. Okay. That food will take another one hour. Eh? Yes. I overheard you on phone saying 10-15 uh, uh, minutes. I would advise you start going to the shop right now. I can't take one hour now. Now, now, now see the cook. I can cook rice for two hours. You know what? Um, use use sieve. Uh, use sieve to sieve my own part. I mean, sieve the upper part. Huh? I'm hungry I now. I should do what? Sieve, sieve the upper part. No, go and do it yourself. And say, sieve, 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 sieve it. The upper part. You're not serious. Okay. One day they will come and arrest you here. Okay? Can you bring me over to the shop? Let me go and see Becky. I should bring her over to the shop. Uh, Sammy, bring her over to the shop, please. Uh, do, do I blend it?
Your Majesty, thank you very much for the prince. May you live long. Oh yeah, Bale. You heard what I said. Your Majesty, I heard all you said. And I will hastily ensure that all are done as we've instructed. Good. You know, you are the only one I can trust with a task as such as this. I want a speedy result. So, I want you to move straight for the job. If you witness any challenge, get back at me. Yeah, Your Majesty, you have nothing to worry. Good. I will do exactly as you have said. Meanwhile, let me be on my way so that I can prepare ahead of it tomorrow. Good. I trust you. Thank you very much. Ibe! Hiya, Vale. Your Majesty. What is it? Um, Your Majesty. One of the maidens that cleaned your chamber today saw Princess Oledo leaving your chamber with this money. She followed her and took it from where she hid it and then brought it to me. I don't understand. Yes, the money is mine. It is a payroll for the staff. I don't quite understand what you mean by Princess Oledo stole the money. How is that even possible? Oh. You are here already. What is the problem? Father, I caught one of her servants sneaking out of your chamber this morning. And when I asked her what she went in there to do, she said nothing. So I decided to go into your room and see things for myself. Father, on getting in there, your room was absolutely a big mess. I called that same girl again. Her name is Chica. I asked her, what did you go to do in my father's room? Father, that girl refused to speak until I pressured her so much. Father, she confessed to me that this thief here forced her to steal from you. And that has been going on for a very long time. What? What is what? That's a lie. Father, let me be honest with you. I caught this same girl sneaking into my brother's room yesterday with the excuse that this thief here sent her. This morning, I caught the same girl sneaking out of your chamber. Who knows, maybe tomorrow my room. Your Majesty, that's a lie. You stole the money. Who stole the money? You, you are a thief. You're a liar. You stole the money. You framed up an innocent girl who you almost killed for standing up against you. And now me? You stole the money. Now you listen to me. Your robbery days are over in this palace. No wonder my brother detests you so much, you disgusting thief. What right has she to tell lies against you? This is not the first time money is missing in your husband's coffer. And now it's mine. Your Majesty, I didn't steal the money. Enough. I've been knocking, I've been here for a while. Ah, I'm so sorry. I was in the kitchen and I'm home alone. Well, you're in the kitchen. Are you cooking? Yes, I'm cooking. What are you cooking? No, you tell ask, me. Why are you asking? As if you know how to cook. What? I, I'm a, uh, ask questions. I'm a chef. <laughs> I, I tell you. Oh, really? Yeah, but I, I got you a drink. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you like the drink? I love it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but seriously, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you cooking? Uh, I'm making a nice local meal. I'd like to see. I, I, I want to help out. I can cook. No, don't judge you me. You don't look it. You don't look like someone. Where's your kitchen? Cook. Show me to your 
Why are you going to blow your mind? Hold on, hold on. What are you going to my kitchen to do? But you say you're cooking. I don't need your help. You need my help. Let's see. <laughs> are you serious right now? Hold on. Hold on. I want to make food. I want to. I want to cook for you. You want to cook for me? Yes, I want to cook. I'm serious. Which way to your kitchen? I'm serious. Which way? <laughs> you really want to cook? I want to cook. I'm serious. <laughs> Do you even know how to cook? What? I'm a wonderful chef. I'm hmm. telling you, just point the way to the kitchen and you see me do wonders. Really? Yes. Ah, uh, first off, you have to be a chef. I am a chef. Ask <laughs> questions. <laughs> yes. Oh, show me. Show oh, me please come back. I'm serious. I am done cooking. Actually, I. I'm almost done cooking. You're almost done, then I can just help no, you. No, no, okay, fine. I'm done. I'm done. Let me let me dish out the food so you can eat, okay? Uh, let what, me... what is it? Nothing. I let me go get the food. What? What? I didn't say anything. I just said you let said me. You were trying to say something. No, let me get your food. Are you sure? I need to get you um food so what? you can eat. You need to eat. Mm hmm I might as well start with you. Let me start with you. Mm. Let me just dish off so you can eat stuff. Mm. Let me start with you. That's so good. Mm. Mm. You look troubled. What is it? You have not been yourself lately. I know something is bothering you. But you can talk to me about it. After my last relationship, after everything I went through in it, I vowed never to let any man make me feel that way again. I vowed not to let any man into my life. With you, I find it very difficult to breathe. To say you make me lose my breath. When I'm with you, I... I can't... What's your fear? Loving you is the biggest decision that I have made in a very long time. And finding you is my biggest discovery in life. Becky, I love you with the whole of me. I am going to keep loving you until death. Until death. Do us part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me the way you do. And I promise you today, I am not going to break your heart. I promise. I promise. I actually thought you're not coming back tonight, but I am glad you're here, brother. Do I owe you an explanation? No, not. But your wife does. And I am telling you right now to warn her. You want me to warn her, girl? Is everything okay with you? No, I am not okay, brother. Clearly, you are not okay, Abigail. <laughs> she has come for you. 
right? <laughs> Abigail, I've shown her true colors, right? Now you want me to talk to my wife. Clearly you're not okay. Because I warned you about the same woman that you took in. You embraced her, you took her in. And now she's hurt you, I guess. And you want me to listen? Huh? I am not asking you to listen. I am telling you to warn your wife. Want her to stay away from everything that concerns me if she wants to last longer in this palace. It must really be bad. What did she do? You would not imagine it. That useless wife of yours sent a servant working in this palace to steal from father and in turn told father that I stole from him. When you of all people know how father adores me, that if I open my mouth to ask, he gives without even thinking twice. Now your wife is at it. <laughs> so you don't see what's at play here. She's a snake. She's trying to come between you and daddy. Uh, so now you see what I've been dealing with. Abigail is a gold digger. Open your eyes, be smart. Else one day you wake up and you find yourself out of daddy's favor. That's and never happen. Taking your place. Listen to me. Do whatever you can to get her out of the way. I'm telling you, that girl is a snake. Make hay while the sun shines. Just warn her. Chica, it's not pretty. Chica, Chica, I'm good. Chica, please Chica. wake up. Chica, Chica, wake up, please. Chica. 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 Chica, please.
You don't deserve to go this way. <laughs> After everything. After everything. <laughs> I have myself to play. I have myself to play. Why did I speak of her? Why did I let myself get the better part of me? She can be so Oh, you're sick, you want that? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't I can I caused this. It's she was there to me. She was also my friend. Please stop crying. Let's talk. <laughs> Abigail, don't make me pull you up now. It won't be nice. I did it to you. <laughs> of this king committed murder. But that's what you're saying. Is that not what you said? Oh, that's what you said. Is that not what you said? Is that not what you said? Is that what you said? Is that what you said? She killed her because she stood up for herself and now they are trying to hide it. 
Prince Dozier did this to me because I confronted him about it. If what you just said right now is the truth, that means you are not safe over there. You're no longer safe. The prince can actually kill you and nothing will be said or done about it. Believe me, you're no longer safe there. And that's why I'm scared. Jane, please, I want out. I don't want this marriage anymore. I want to save myself and save this child. I can't afford to have my child in that cost home called the palace. It's okay. It's okay. Just put yourself together. Hmm? You need to get a divorce. That's all you need. Getting a divorce is the best thing. We have to see Barrister Becky. She did it for me. I'm very, very sure that she will do it for you too. Okay. okay. But please, can we, can we go and see her now? Of course. Thank you. You know, I, I hate it when clients come to me for divorce. Because I, for one, is someone who believes so much in marriage. And um, I believe marriage should be a forever thing. That if there are other ways to go around this thing other than divorce, I would have opted for it. You know? But nevertheless... It's okay. Unfortunately, divorce is the only thing that can help a woman stay alive. And that of her kids. Yes, True. it is. True. But I would always say, leave to leave. So, where do we start? Good. Um, first, I think you should start by telling me your story everything listen mrs abigail just like i told your friend here when she came to me i rather you tell me the ugly truth than i hear it in court so you should tell me everything that happened every single details of everything where you went wrong where he went wrong everything so i'll be prepared okay and also you tell me everything about your husband his name what he does Everything, literally everything I need to know. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. You know what? You can start. The name of my husband is Prince Chuku Dozier, but his friends call him Prince Dozier. Uh, when you mean prince, uh, as in a royal prince? Yes. He's the heir apparent to the throne of anyone in kingdom. I see. Um, so we are talking about a royal matter here, right? Yes. I'm listening. He's the managing director of Perfect Wheels Company. I love my husband. I love my husband so much. You know, when I first met my husband, I... I thought I had met my soulmate. Even after everything he did to me, divorce was the last thing on my mind. Here is a picture of my husband and I. You see how good we look together? You know, men, men will push you to a point of no return. And then you'll be stuck looking for an escape route. Um, Mrs. Abigail, this is your husband. That's my husband. Okay. Here. Um, um, ladies, do you mind giving me a minute? 
I'll be back. Okay? It's okay. Take your time. No problem. Um, if you need anything, just let me know so I can tell my secretary. No, to get no, you're fine. No. You're good. Yes. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you.